Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Matt Carruthers back again with Antidote Outdoors and today we're going to show you how to repair your board if you happen to drop Dean crack, split it in half, anything like that. So step one uh, is going to be your basic tools. You're going to want to start with masking tape, some type of mixing surface, some sandpaper, a way to lay your repair epoxy, and of course your du dual resin epoxies. You're gonna be sure that you get a boat epoxy that has two tubes or two tubes built into one. What's gonna come out of each of those tubes is one side is epoxy, the other side is your cement agent. Oh, and the last thing you're gonna need is a hole or a break or something in your board. So, first thing you're gonna wanna do is get some of the edges around it a little bit rough. This is just gonna make it to where you're, you got a nice flat, surface nice and even and you're going to get a little bit of touch or a little bit of uh, rougher edges for your epoxy to actually be able to gra uh, grab onto. Next I'm going to take the epoxy here and again you'll see that it is a dual tube and there you see the two agents. Now as they come out in two colors, that's gonna let you know whether or not they're ready to be used. Currently they are not. You do wanna mix these into one smooth, simultaneous color. All right, so there's that. Next we're gonna take some of your good old masking tape here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is mask off around the perimeter of your hole, your ding, your crack, whatever you got. Now don't get excessively close you do want to have a little bit of space that you can allow your epoxy to uh, seal nice and tight something roughly like that if you want to make it a prettier shape or a symmetrical shape or anything like that so that when you're done it's not quite such an ugly big open patch that's your prerogative also you can try to get it in a single color area. I'm gonna to try to keep it within this wood. That way later if I want to uh, color some paints in there to get it all one color, it'll be a lot easier. But in the meantime, you're just gonna start by laying some of this goo on there. Try to keep it inside the masking tape here. You want it to be pretty thick, but not goopy. You saw there, there was a little hole. You don't want any of that. It's gotta be one nice smooth surface. And then last but not least, and actually one of the things we always suggest, is put one more piece of masking tape over it. That's just gonna give it a nice smooth finish. Start on one end and lay it on like it's a nice little Band-Aid. You're gonna let that sit for a couple of hours. Uh, each epoxy is different and it will give you a dry time. We always suggest letting it sit overnight. Don't rush it because, well, this is gonna dictate whether or not your board actually continues to float. But otherwise, you'll come out in the morning and you should have something that looks pretty darn similar to this. It's a nice, smooth, easy finish and your board is ready to get back out on the water. Be safe out there and enjoy, guys.